Hi YouTube, this will be my last video as Adult Moshi Fan 87 before I change my YouTube username to Jibunyachu. So, as you may already be aware, nearly two weeks ago, Mind Candy announced that the main Moshi Monsters online game will be shutting down at midday on December 13th. I've been playing Moshi Monsters since summer 2009 about a few months after I first saw it advertised on TV, and it saddens me that this game is closing down 11 years after it launched in 2008. But at the same time, I have to ask... What the hell, Mind Candy? It's one thing that you're closing down this great game, which was once the hottest thing in the UK, but you didn't even do much with it since 2014. There were a few small signs of Moshi Monster's downfall in 2013, but things didn't get really bad until 2014, when the game got very little in the way of updates, and updates quietly ceased completely nearer the end of the year, with Halloween and Christmas themes being applied and removed automatically. Mind Candy had something very special with Moshi Monsters. It was a very popular online game, Millions played it, there was merchandise left, right and centre, and it even got a feature film released in cinemas. Yet for some reason, Mind Candy decided to throw it all away and focus on mobile apps, which ended up not catching on. Moshi Monsters runs on Flash, a plugin not supported by smartphones or tablets, even during the Moshi craze. Adobe will cease support for Flash at the end of 2020. Mind Candy did have plans at one point to make Moshi Monsters playable on tablet via an app, but those never materialised. I am not just upset that Mind Candy are closing down what was once the hottest online game out there, I am upset that they seem to have forgotten how to properly run a business. Ironic because I started playing Moshi Monsters shortly after completing a business course at college. Mind Candy's Moshi Monsters smartphone and tablet apps didn't make a big splash. World of Warriors was a dumpster fire. I doubt anyone remembers 7 Second Challenge. And while Moshi Monsters Egg Hunt did get some toys earlier this year, we haven't seen much since. I see Mind Candy are mainly focusing on their Moshi Twilight lullaby app at the moment. Moshi Monsters and even Moshi Monsters Egg Hunt aren't even featured on their homepage anymore, and I didn't hear much about Moshi Twilight in recent months, until those stories read by celebrities which they mentioned on social media. I'm surprised it's taken Mind Candy this long to announce the closure of the original Moshi Monsters online game. I'm surprised they gave up on it just like that in 2014, I'm surprised they didn't even seem to bother to convert it to HTML5 or something. Mind Candy say they are expanding Moshi Monsters, but have yet to give us any insight on what they have in mind. If you want to keep getting customers, keep your existing customers, and get back your previous customers, you need to keep offering a wide variety of new products on a regular basis. There is a reason why I and many other fans were so upset in 2014 to see Moshi Monsters fall to pieces like this. If I had known how big a Moshi fan I would be, I would have started a YouTube channel and blog all about Moshi Monsters shortly after I started playing, while also having another YouTube channel for non-Moshi stuff. I would like to have done more Moshi stuff than I did back in the day, I didn't buy the Moshi Monsters magazine until issue 12, and I would have gone to the Moshi bus if I had known beforehand it would be in blue water, 
the stop it had nearest to where I live. Hopefully before the end of January, I will release a video on my life and times with Moshi Monsters. However, with all this stuff I've heard about YouTube planning to delete videos that don't make money, I may have to post it on Vimeo as well as YouTube. Thank you for your time.